What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at lead code problem number 185, department top 3 salaries. Mark this hard, but I promise you it's not going to be that hard once you know one functionality in SQL. Let's get into it. This is actually the first hard problem on this channel that we're going through. And as you can see down here, it is asked by Amazon frequently. It's the most frequently asked hard question and that's where we're going to start with this one. So let's go through our task. The employee table holds all employees. Every employee has an ID and there's also a column for the department ID. So we have ID, name, salary, department ID, which links to their department. And we have a department table that holds all departments of the company, which is basically just a lookup table for department ID and their corresponding name. So in the end, we're probably going to have to join these to get the department name. Our task is to write a SQL query to find employees who earn the top three salaries in each of the department. For the above tables, your SQL query should return the following rows. Order of rows does not matter, so we don't have to sort it in the end. So, as we can see, we have four entries for IT because we have employees that have the same salary on second place. So, we want to rank them including ties and not just skip after three entries if there's a tie. And for sales, we only have two entries, so we're just going to return on the first two. That is also backed by the explanation in the end. In IT department, Max earns the highest salary, both Randy and Joe earn the second highest salary, and Will earns the third highest salary. The only two employees in the sales department, Henry earns the highest salary, while Sam earns the second highest salary. Only two entries. So let's get into solving this problem. So this problem is quite similar to one we had before on this channel, which is called nth highest salary where you try to find maybe the fourth highest salary for a table and in this case we're just trying to find the top three salaries and the corresponding names and there's multiple ways of doing it some way similar to the one we had before on this channel but this time I want to use window functions because I think it's the easiest and most straightforward way once you understand how window functions work so that's what we're going to use. Basically, we want to use a rank window function to create a ranking of employee salaries in their corresponding department. So we want to create a kind of lookup table which tells us what their salary rank is in their department. And then in the end, we just need to filter that on the top three and then also attach their department name. So just join again. If you stumble upon a problem which mentions the top n x per y, then you should probably think about ranking and window functions and that's exactly what's happening here. And I think it's a quite valid question that might actually arise in your day-to-day -day job. So I think it's a nice question. So let's go through our output. We want to output department employee salary. So let's see if we can get that information in there and also a kind of ranking. So let's start off by trying to create that temporary ranking table. We're going to start off by selecting department ID because we want to find the highest salaries per department ID. Then also name the salary and then we want to create our rank as R. Usually you call them R, that's what I do and that is kind of a common way of naming it. But let's see, we need to use a ranking window function. In this case, we're going to use dense rank because dense rank differs from rank by allowing ties. So it's going to create second place for Randy and Joe, which are both on 85,000 as a salary. And it's not going to create a gap afterwards. So it's not going to go 1, 2, 2, 4. It's going to go 1, 2, 2, 3, which is what we want here. Okay, and in order to use window functions, we need to follow a certain syntax, which is the aggregation function, then over, and in brackets, we're going to partition by and order by to create that window. If you want to know more about window functions, I would advise you to follow a separate tutorial. I can't go through everything here, but basically, we're trying to create a sub window that we're running this function on and partition by works sort of like group by and order by like the group by uh, like the order by statement you would use in general so if we partition by department id 
we create that window which only looks at each department for the ranking. So it's going to cut off when there's a new department, which is what we want, because in this case we're looking at IT and sales. And we want to order by the field that is responsible for the ranking output. In this case we want to rank salary and that descendingly, so the highest salary is on top and gets number one. So that should already give us an output if we just state that we are selecting that from employee which has all that information let's see what we get so we get an output of the department ID 1 for IT get max 90,000 and 1 then Joe with 2, Randy with 2, Will having 3 so that's perfect that's exactly what we want we still have Janet in there which is fourth place in IT but we want to cut that down to 3 and that's what we're going to do right now. So we already solved the hardest part of the problem. All that's left to do is filter on that rank and also include the department name. So we're going to have to join on the department table. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to transform that into a sub query to create a temporary table. Let's call it E because we use employee. And then we're going to have to select from that table all the fields we need and also from department to get the department name. And in the end, we, do, um, we need to filter on the rank. So now our output, we want department, employee, and salary. So we're gonna select department.name because the name is in the department table. As department, we're gonna put that in quote for it not to mess up with the, the table name because it has the same name. Then we want employee, so we're going to take e.name, remember we called it e, as employee. Also quote that. Then we just want salary, which is only an e, I'm still going to write e.salary. And yeah, we're going to select from that temporary table and need to join department on the department ID. So e dot department ID is department dot ID. And as I said we still need to introduce our web condition to filter on the rank. And the rank we want to include should be smaller than or equal to three. So it's gonna put out rank one, two and three or if there's only two like in sales, it's just going to pull out one and two. So let's see what happens if we run that code. We're going to get an accepted output. We don't need to sort that output as the question mentioned. And we're pretty much good to go. We can submit that. I'm going to get an accepted result. And that's pretty much it for that question. I think it hasn't been too complicated if you know what window functions I used for maybe I could shorten down department ID and write that SD as well but I think it does work quite well this way and if you stumble upon a problem that mentions the top n per y then you should probably think about using window functions as I did right here as I said there's another way which counts the amount of salaries which are higher or lower than the one you're looking at right now which is similar to one problem we had before on this channel but i think this solution works best anyways that's been it for this problem i don't think it's too hard once you get the hang of window functions and i think it's a great question which you could expect to get in an actual interview so i could really recommend you guys to work on this problem maybe for one of the window functions tutorial if you haven't yet and i'll see you on one of the other videos i'm going through all the code database problems Starting with the ones that are available for free, we're already almost through all problems that are available for free, just some hard ones left. And yeah, make sure to follow along, subscribe and leave a like if it was helpful. See you all next time.